Well, hello, my name is Jimmy Carey, and my call is WX9DX. I'm a technical specialist with the ARRL, just an old ham operator. Here I'm showing you my build of the MFJ941 EK antenna tuner. At this point, we're putting on the connectors on the back of the case. Pretty easy to do, you just got to make sure that you tighten the hardware up uh, real good and snug. If you think it's going to come loose, you use a little bit of blue lock tight. Putting on the ground uh, screw is um, very simple. Just got to make sure you got all the washers and everything in the right place as you put everything together. As with most of the rest of this build, you needed to make sure everything was done in a certain order. And then I check off in it. everything I do to keep track of where I was, in case I get interrupted by the phone or somebody at the door or whatever. Now when you put on the uh, banana uh, connectors on the back, the red ones. Only snug those down. If you go to tighten that too much, you're going to strip that plastic out. Then you're going to need to solder wire from the uh, main board over to the bottom right uh, banana plug uh, connector there. Uh, that's the one that says wire on the back. Then, of course, then put the uh, bowing together and uh, make sure you kind of follow the directions the way that it sandwiches together. Putting the meter in was very simple. Uh, set it in place. Put the uh, little plastic backing holder in place. Two screws on the bottom and uh, the meter was installed. I was quite surprised at how well that one little clip held the meter I probably should have put the capacitors on the meter before I installed it, but I went ahead and put the capacitors on after I installed the meter. Maybe if uh, you watch this video first, maybe you'll put the capacitors on first before you install the meter. And there's a picture exactly how all the wires hook up to the back of the meter and then be sure to use the checklist so that you know where you were if you get interrupted or whatever the inductor was uh, very easy to install had to make sure you got the proper insulating washers in order as you put it in there I did stick a piece of paper underneath the inductor <coughs> So I could check that that switch was not shorted the ground uh, to where it mounted uh, to the front of the housing uh, with an ohmmeter and uh, just continuity, checking continuity. And then took the paper out and mounted the coil. I was very impressed uh, with the way MFJ put the coil together. And then I installed the capacitors in the front panel. They also have insulating washers. You need to check those before you wire anything to them with an ohmmeter to the case to make sure that they're not shorted to the housing after you install them. So you check from the capacitor to the case. There should be no continuity. Now that's with no wires on it. Just installed to the housing. That tells you you got all the bushings in the right places.
pause the video here to you you'll see where all the wires go from the coil one of them goes down to the um, antenna switch itself uh, several of them from the in inductor uh, go to the different points on the capacitors, variable capacitors. I'm going to make sure that top one on the uh, inductor that you have to solder over to the capacitor uh, doesn't short out to the top of the housing when you put the cover on. I'm going to make sure you have plenty of clearance. If possible, I always try to make sure something has mechanical connection and then I solder it. So you'll see through this whole build where I'm putting wires on, I'm bending them in place, snugging them down with needle nose, and then I solder them. Okay, get that to focus. That contact should be touching. There's the contact. Should be touching that long pin on the left. See it down there? That contact it just went up. In the A position is over there on the left. That's the A position. Okay, the knob is on dummy load. When we get done, it'll be on dummy load, just like it is now. What you do is take this switch, turn it all the way counterclockwise. It probably already is. Put the coupler on it. Tighten down this back Allen set screw. Put the knob on the shaft, tighten it down, shove it through here, put it into the coupler. Set it on the dummy load position. Put that white dot on a dummy load position. And then go back and tighten up the front set screw. And then what you should have is this thing when you turn it will go to each position correctly. 